good mood and ready for some great comedy or what? Okay. <laughs> well, I hope you are at home to your first act of this evening. This gentleman is from Vancouver. He recently appeared at the Toronto Comedy Festival, and he has a off-the-wall silly humor. You're about to find out what I'm talking about. Please welcome Mr. Chuck Byrne. Give him a hand. <laughs> I understand there's a few people having birthdays here tonight. Happy birthday. Uh, you know, ladies, if you're celebrating a birthday, nothing says happy birthday quite like banging the hell out of a fat guy. Huh? <laughs> I mean, if you want some birthday memories, that are gonna last you a lifetime. I think you're looking at them right here. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sit down because I'm, uh, well, I'm pretty lazy, to be honest with you. <laughs> you don't get a buddy like this getting up early and jogging every morning, I'll tell you that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, cool. Didn't make a noise when I sat on it. That's always a good sign. Ever happen to you? You go to sit down on a piece of furniture and it makes a noise when you sit on it? A little annoying, isn't it? You go to sit down and all you hear is, Help! <laughs> you get up again, thank God. <laughs> yeah, there isn't a lot of wicker at my house. No, no. <laughs> no. Especially those wicker hanging chairs that hang from a chain. <laughs> no. Not at my house, they don't. No. A friend of mine has one of those chairs. Oh, man, do I love playing with his mind, huh? Just walk in that front door, beeline right for that. <laughs> You've never seen anybody move so fast in panic. I head for that chair. Hey, hey, hey. easy. There. Big fella. There. You, you don't want to be sitting in that one. No, no. Why don't you grab a seat right over here in the bean bag? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a fat guy sitting in a beanbag chair before. But, uh, we get in there. We get in there. We get in there kind of deep. Uh, my buddy goes out for groceries and I'm uh, screwed. Hello? Somebody want to pull my ass out of this chair? I'm scared the house is going to catch on fire. I feel sorry for all the confused firemen who show up. Jeez, what's with all the pork and beans on the floor here, huh? Yeah. Been having a bit of a personal debate lately, you know, can't make up my mind, you know, shower or bath. Big debate for me, because my life is so empty. Uh, oh, I love, I, I see, the thing is, most guys seem to prefer the shower. I think the reason for that is that, you know, guys like to pee. Yeah, you really, you don't want to be sitting in that, do you? Really, no. Oh. I don't care what they say about athletes, but no thank you, really. Yeah, shower's all right. Women seem to prefer the bath a little more than guys do, because they, you know, they have the bath ritual, you know, with the candles and the bubble bath and the Sarah McLaughlin music and the white wine and the loofah mitt. I don't know if they go to the bathtub for me. Now there's a scene you don't want to walk in on, trust me there. Oh, man, that is the last time I stay at Grandma's house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Grandma loves her loofah, if you know what I mean there. Oh, yeah. I don't like the bath too much. Once I get into the bath, you know, there isn't a lot of room for uh, water. Yeah. I, I get uh, two or three cups of water in there. Oh, hey, it's sloshing up on me now. Hey, if you want to get your chest wet, you got to hike them legs in there. Are you enjoying that there, buddy? Yeah? Can you see the head yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck getting rid of that memory, huh? Oh. I had something embarrassing happen to me the other day. I, uh, I almost fell in the toilet. Oh, man. The ladies know what I'm talking about here. Oh, yeah. You couldn't get that much grief about the toilet seat unless you were <laughs> playing splash a every once in a while. It's a horrible feeling, though, you know? You, you get down there to a certain point, 
You get that message from your brain? Uh, you're going too far there, buddy. Your legs are like, well, there's no way we're getting you back up again. Take that futile grab at the toilet paper, hoping for the quick recovery. It snaps right off the wall. It's rolling around the floor now, teasing you. <laughs> Somebody's going in, not gonna be me. You finally pull yourself up by the sink, and oh, man, are you happy you didn't fall in the toilet, because, wow. There is nothing worse than that big blue stain on your ass, is there? Yeah. Well, you get drunk, you go out, you moon somebody. What is that, a Smurf? What the? Yeah. Smurf, that's one of my favorite words. Love the word Smurf. My favorite word of all time, though, has to be condiments. Oh, yeah. Because you can always screw up the stupid guy at the drugstore with the word condiments. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, where do you keep the uh, condiments? <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to put this on my hot dog? <laughs> what? Isn't that gonna make it kind of chewy? <laughs> I thank the people that got that joke. Thanks very much, appreciate that. Uh, I know some of you right now are just looking at me going, why is he putting ketchup on his dick? It's confusing. Uh, I'm not, too, not a big fan of the winter. I like the summer more than I like the winter because, uh, I don't know, it's warm. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I love the summer because I love the events that go on in the summertime. You know, like we had the, the Indy every, every summer, which is always a lot of fun. Not as much fun as it used to be because my favorite driver doesn't drive in the Indy anymore. My favorite driver, Jack Villeneuve. Oh, yeah. When he, because he used to come to town, I always loved to go watch him. Because you got all these other guys, you know, Alan's or Junior. Friendly, corn fed American fellow. And then you got Jack Villeneuve. Really bitter, chain smoking French Canadian. <laughs> My money's on him, huh? I mean, he's French Canadian. Odds are he's gonna be cutting off a lot more people during the race. Eh? <laughs> er, uh, take that, then go by start, huh? I love the French Canadians. Oh man, I love the French. Canadians. I love the francophones because when they speak English, it's just so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they just have silly ways of saying things in English, you know, like, uh, hey, you know, I have to be quick here now. I am double parked two times twice. <laughs> How many cars are you driving there, Gaston? <laughs> I go to the closet, you know, to get my boots, I open the door, and there they were, gone. <laughs> a pretty distinct society they got there. Uh, I even have a favorite place to eat. My favorite place to eat in the whole world is the all-you-can-eat Chinese food buffet. Oh, yeah. Man, do I love going there. For some reason, though, the little guy who runs it, he doesn't like me at all. No. I walk in the door, this guy just panics. Oh, no! Big fat white guy! You pay two people, big fat white guy. You leave tray here, you put food on plate, huh? All the guys in the back start freaking out. We need more pork, more pork for big fat white guy. Bring more pork. Oh yeah, I get out there. It's, this is the Olympics for me. This is my big event. I'm what are we ever gonna? Ah! you right now are just praying to God my pants stay off, aren't you? Hey, thanks very much, folks. You've been a lot of fun. Hey, let them hear it. Mr. Chuck Byrne, quite a comedian. Go take that channel. I'll be right back after this brief match.